Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. Now, as you know, everything wears out, and unfortunately, after 10 good years of service, our Bosch fitted dishwasher is no more. So we have bought a new one, and in 10 years, dishwashers have come on a very long way. The first challenge is it connects to the Wi-Fi in the house. Let me show you the differences if you're about to change your dishwasher. So our dishwasher is lovingly behind this panel, and we found a company that would come out, not only supply the dishwasher, take away the old one, but install this for us, which is quite important. We did hit a snag in that when some of the top of the kitchen was redesigned, the sink blocked the plugs into the power point. So we've had an electrician today to move the power point so we can actually run it. So let me show you some of the new fun things you can expect from your new kitchen dishwasher. So one of the little features I like of this dishwasher is you're no longer tagging on it. And if you don't even have a door handle, it doesn't matter, you just push. And then it now has a motorized opening, which I think is, is fantastic. On the top here, you're gonna find many more different settings than certainly we had on our old dishwasher. One of the very interesting ones is an auto button. So how this works is you push auto, push the door, it does a quick rinse, it then analyzes how dirty that water is, and then it chooses the most economical cycle to run. So it uses only the electricity and the water it needs to give you a perfect finish. On the other side here, you're gonna find some other new buttons. Remote start is if you're controlling it from your phone, there's a very natty app that you can control uh, the dishwasher from, and it does some extra things like it counts down how many dishwasher tablets you use, it reminds you when you need to get some oil, so it lets you know when the dishwasher is finished, which is very good, because you can come down, drop the door, and let it dry off quickly. But you also have some other bits and pieces here. Uh, one of them, Speed Perfect, is really useful. And the other one is you've got a silence button. So, and I did run it last night, very skeptical. And after the first four or five seconds, you can't really hear the machine running. So if you've got a dishwasher and you, you know, it's near you and it's, the sound is gonna bother you, or you're running it overnight, it'll wake you up. I think that's another great feature. So as always, I've not been paid or incentivized to make this video. This is just what I found out. I bought a Bosch because there was a Bosch in here before and I needed to get really exactly the same dimensions so we don't have to start messing around in the kitchen. Now you can see it boots up. Now one of the other great things I like is you've not only got displays along here, but when the machine is running, so it has the feature where it projects on the floor what it's currently doing, how much longer it's got to run, where it is in its cycle. And again, that's really good because if the door's, if the door's shut, it's very difficult to know exactly where you are. Now there's some other changes inside if you've not changed your dishwasher for a while. So on the door, you've got the same thing where you've got put your powder or tablet and you've got your rinse aid. But this one has three drawers. So you've got a natty little one on the top here that you can use for cutlery or baby's bottle tops or maybe like little espresso coffee cups and they can safely be held there. So something else is new is if you've got a particularly dirty pot pan or whatever and you need a bit of help with it, have this here, an extra little on off. And you've got these little sort of propeller like jet turbines. And if you're selecting on, um, you can have those running flat out as well. Or so you can remove that altogether and you can just clip that on the back. So the instructions are pretty clear on what you need to do. It. I think it's quite extreme cleaning, maybe after baking the Christmas dinner or something, you might need to do that, but it's a useful extra feature. As with all dishwashers, there are three things you need to do. Like I say, you need to make sure you've put in your dishwasher pad or tablet, your rinse aid, but you also need to pop this off. This is your water softener. So you can just drop that in and you can put your salt in there. You set up on the app, how hard your water is, and then it knows how much salt to add. 
it's very important to get that. If you don't get that right, then you're going to let extra lime scale build up inside the workings of your dishwasher, and you're going to restrict the life. So make sure you've put dishwasher salt in the bottom before you use it. I really hope you find that quick guide useful. You're going to find that you're using less water and less power with a modern dishwasher. In the UK, they range from A to, I think it's E++, A being the most efficient on its use of power, etc. So they tend to cost a bit more, but over time, obviously, you're going to save on electricity and water costs. If you've got any questions, then please drop me a note below. And if you can send me a super thanks, that'll be really appreciated. This is Paul from London. Cheerio. I'll see you in the next video.